hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be doing a quick unboxing and some solar testing with this brand new folding 200 watt solar panel from all powers right after this if you are new to my channel and would like to stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks for amazon fire devices and product reviews then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for future notifications thank you so much so i just recently got this 200 watt folding solar panel from all powers they sent me this awesome uh, portable folding solar panel for the purpose of this review so let's go ahead and get started so thank you so much to all powers uh, for sending me this unit as this is my first 200 watt solar panel that I have I have a few hundred watt solar panels as you guys know if you follow my channel but this is my first 200 watt folding solar panel and this thing is uh, it's, it's on the light side honestly compared to the other solar panels that I have with this big capacity of watts so let's go ahead and jump right into the review so this is what the solar panel looks like when it's folded and it comes in a nice sturdy box and it comes uh, it comes well packed and i like the fact that it's got a nice sturdy handle on top it's got multiple folding legs and here you see the brand right on the front proudly printed all powers and as they make several different folding solar panels and power stations as well if you guys are not familiar with the all powers uh, brand now what's nice about it this uh, with this solar panel when it's folded it's about i would say it's about 24 to maybe 30 inches long somewhere in between i will leave the exact measurements on the screen for you as a screenshot um, but just an estimate somewhere between 24 25 maybe 28 inches wide by about 20 inches high that's when it's folded and when it's unfolded it's actually a quad quad portable folding solar panel so I'll leave those I'll leave those uh, measurements and, and, and I mean um, I'll leave that in the video as a screenshot. So let me go ahead and show you what kind of accessories this folding solar panel comes with as it comes with quite a bit of accessories honestly compared to other solar panel manufacturers. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this around and as you can see here it comes it has a nice uh, a nice uh, material um, like nice rugged material material pouch on the side I would say I want to say on the back side of the solar panel and this is zippered up and once you unzip it this is where you find all types of accessories and they send you actually quite a bit all right so once one thing one thing I really appreciate from solar from all powers and um, specifically from all powers is that this is not only a 200 watt folding solar panel which is also portable but right out of the gate I see that it's got the standard solar cables which are MC4 cables as you guys know so here's the uh, here's the negative and here's the negative and here's the positive and this is right out of the gate this is the actual direct cable that's actually coming out of the solar panel which is very nice and this is compatible with almost uh, with so many different power stations that's if you you know if you don't need a, like a, a conversion adapter and whatnot and this is the second unit this is the second cable that we get this is a like conversion cable you can see that this is the positive negative mc mc4 cables solar cables converting it to the anderson cables right here with negative and a positive so this is a nice uh this is a nice set that you get with the solar panel and you also get another mc4 uh cable connectors to a dc connection i'm not sure what this dc connection i'll try to leave that on the screen for you i'm not sure if this is a 5525 5521 or a 5525 um i'm not sure which one to be honest i'll leave that in the uh, as a screenshot in the video for you once i verify and you also get another accessory and this is an interesting one this is um as you can see this is the uh mc4 connectors to uh, battery clamps and so you can directly connect the negative and a positive uh, battery clamps onto any uh, 12 volt battery that you have or a 6 volt battery um, I'm not sure about the voltage but you can connect these you can you can connect a 12 volt battery uh, for sure uh, directly to the solar panel I'm not sure if you want to do that because then you want to regulate the wattage and the and the amperage going into the battery but at least you have these cables which is another which is a nice option I haven't seen this type of accessory that comes with a solar panel but at, le at least they threw this one in and the last unit that you get is you get four different connectors for different um, power stations and whatnot. So I'm not sure what the the first three are. I think the one, the yellow one. So yeah, at least you get 
these five different you know conversion connectors to charge other multiple devices uh, directly using this 200 watt folding solar panel so let me go ahead and show you what the solar panel actually looks like when it's unfolded and we'll go ahead and see what kind of uh, and then I'll, and, and then yeah, and then at the end of the video I'll go ahead and show you we'll go ahead and see what kind of solar test we can get out of this because it's sort of a cloudy t day today and but the Sun is out which is great it has been cloudy and rainy lately so we'll, we'll go ahead and connect this to my <clears throat> Echo Flow River Pro power station which can handle I believe up to 200 watts of solar give or take but it can handle the amperage and the voltage that this uh, all powers um, 200 watt folding solar panel uh, can output all right so before I go ahead and uh, actually install this and have the uh, four individual um, uh, I just took this out of the box right now I just want to show you what kind of nice support legs this has this has two supporting legs on each side so a total of four supporting legs and honestly the quality built of the solar panel seems to be very nice and it's not even a heavy unit for a folding 200 watt solar panel as you guys know solar panels can be sometimes quite heavy especially the ones that are high wattage so this one is obviously not 100 watt it's a 200 watt folding solar panel but it's uh, it's on the light side i will check on the weight and i'll leave that i'll leave a screenshot for you on the video to see that to see so you guys know exactly the measurements and the weight and whatnot along with some other specs especially the open open circuit voltage and the maximum amperage you can get out of this uh, 200 watt folding solar panel so let me go ahead and set that up and i'll show you how wide uh how how long the solar panel once it's installed on the ground all right guys so this is what the all powers 200 watt folding solar panel looks like when it's unfolded honestly I'm actually quite impressed with the quality this is not only a light solar panel for being 200 watts I know it's not the biggest capacity in solar unfolding solar panels but I want I, honestly I want to say it weighs about seven or eight pounds which is in my opinion that's a pretty light solar panel so this is what it looks like when it's unfolded again I will leave the all of the measurements and the specs on the screen for you as a screenshot because I don't want to assume but it looks like it's about maybe five to six feet wide once it's unfolded and then about between maybe 20 to 25 inches tall but again i'll leave those in the description and i went ahead and plugged in today's test i'm gonna go ahead and use my echo flow river pro portable power station uh, this unit can handle up to i believe either 10 or i think 10 amps of max power of solar input and I believe up to 25 volts, 25 or 25.5 of maximum voltage on the open circuit voltage of solar input. If I'm wrong, you can go ahead and correct me in the comment section below. But I know it can handle the solar panel because I already checked on the specs of the actual uh, River Pro power station on the side of on, on the side of the river on, on the side of my portable power station. Because if you're wrong about that, if you put in uh, higher open circuit voltage into a solar panel into a, a solar capable power station two things are going to happen you're either going to uh, you're either going to fry your built-in mppt solar inverter that's inside the power station or, may, or maybe even cause a fire so you don't want to do that you want to be 100 percent certain that your power station can handle the solar input without guessing so right now if you look back here i went ahead and plugged in my mc4 the echo flow river pro comes with the mc4 cables which converts it to an xt an xt60 connector right here this is it's like a four or five foot cable and as you can see i do have it connected into my power station and right off the bat right now it's sort of a cloudy day to be honest and as you can see the sun is the sun is almost right above me so it's a sort of a cloudy day but i mean it's, it's not the best day but it's also not the worst day to go ahead to do and, and go ahead and do a quick solar test right off the bat this sol the solar panel gave me 142 watts consistent and as you can see my uh, power station is at the is at 46 percent of battery capacity and at this rate my power station will be fully charged in just two hours according to the lcd on the left hand side so i'm going to go ahead and record my screen now to show you what i'm talking about so so you guys can see a better picture because there's a lot of glare out here and that's really out of my control all right guys so here we are i'm actually sitting in my car right now so i'm i am pretty sure you can hear me better now 
so you can actually see the actual test results re from recording my phone screen and as you guys know if you have any echo flow uh, portable power station i believe all of their power stations are app enabled and this is a beautiful thing coming from echo flow so with that being said you can see my screen that i have the uh, echo flow river pro on top charging and as soon as i plugged in the solar panel you can uh, my power station my phone connected to my power station via wi-fi and once i click on that and i know i just walked away from the power station honestly i seen 148 watts coming in as the sun was as the clouds moved away and right now so it's going to vary obviously on a cloudy day and you can see that i'm getting consistent wattage it just jumped from 120 to 130 watts and there goes 133 134 so the sun is coming back out but it is quite a bit of a cloudy day but hey i thought let me go ahead and try out the solar panel today and honestly the quality of the solar panel seems to be very nice as i am definitely not a fan of a heavy solar panel as solar panels can get quite heavy but this thing is a real good portable solar panel and as you can see right here it's a it's fluctuating between 120 130 watts um, 113 watts as as i'm talking to you guys and you can see that this is this will fully charge my power station if you look on the top center of my screen in about two hours and 54 minutes at this rate now it dropped down to 109 watts or 111 watts so obviously the wattage is gonna um it's gonna vary depending on where the clouds are and where the sun is if they're covering the sun or not as you guys know that's typical with any solar panel that you that you're gonna try to test on that day so um yeah this is a great solar panel. i'm very happy that um all powers reached out to me and they said hey we're gonna send we're gonna send you out the solar panel 200 watts and go ahead and do us do us a full review on it and honestly i'm very happy that they sent me the solar panel i love the quality and i know it's a good company as i know for as a matter of fact i've heard of their brand in the past i just don't have any any of their um um, any of their um, solar panels or power stations up until right now so this was a very nice um, a very nice offer from the from their marketing company reaching out to me for the purpose of this review so honestly I'm very happy with with this folding solar panel as you can see I'm talking to you guys and I'm still recording my screen so I'm getting a consist consistent 124 125 watts and it keeps going up so it's going to go up and down eventually which is normal again with any solar panel testing as you guys know as of right now we're at, we're at 130 watts but i know i know when i looked at the screen of my of my portal power station the echo flow i did see 149 watts when i walked away so by the time i sat in the car and i hit record of course the cloud moved in within that minute or so so you know um but yeah so if you guys are interested in this awesome 200 watt folding solar panel and this is and if, and if you definitely want something truly portable this i believe this is going to be my to go number one to go solar panel that i'm probably gonna take every time i go to the beach or when i go camping or fishing i'm bringing this bad boy with me because it's it's very light and it's got a nice sturdy handle and the quality of the uh, the quality of the whole unit build seems to be very nice but not heavy at the same time so yeah i'm very happy with it so if you guys are interested um, i do want to say thank you again i appreciate it from all powers sending me this unit for the purpose of this review and i hope you guys like my review and i will leave uh, the links in the description for my amazon affiliate affiliate link in the description if you guys are interested it doesn't cost you anything clicking on that link if you want to see some more specs and whatnot and uh yeah and it's definitely a reasonably priced solar folding solar panel for being 200 watts as well so let me know what you guys think if you guys have any questions or comments hit me up on the bottom drop me a line and, I'll, and i always get back to pretty much every, anyone that leaves me a comment and maybe i maybe i forgot something or whatnot and uh yeah thanks for watching i appreciate it if you guys if you guys like these type of reviews if you like this type of review i know it's nice and quick on a cloudy day give me a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and share out the video with, with friends and family and if you are new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button it doesn't cost you guys anything and make sure you hit the bell icon to be notified in the future as i will be releasing even more videos regarding other uh, other products and other technologies and now that i'm getting into reviewing e-bikes and electric scooters so because obviously there's a huge demand right now for being portable so thank you so much again if you guys watched the entire video i appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next review. Take care now.